Hi, welcome back to Culinary Capers. I'm David Lee, and once again, I'm up here at, at the Springs with Danielle, their head chef here, and he's gonna show me something that I've always messed up, <laughs> cooking rice and getting it right. So Danielle, All please right. give me a lesson. Okay, well, of course, I always mix up a little thing. Some people put oil, some people put butter, I put both. And it depends on what kind of rice that you have. We're gonna use basmati today. The basmati, you need to rinse it. Very good. Okay. okay. And, and it's ba always two basmati to one. is long a medium. Grain. It's a long grain. Okay. That's There's correct. the small grain. Yes. Medium and long. That's correct. Right. Okay. okay. So you rinse it very well. You get your water start going. I'm going to take a little bit of butter again. Yes. Or a lot just, of butter. No, just a little bit. Okay. Because remember the, when we. Pair it with something, it has to combine and mix. You don't want it to be over buttery when your sauce might have butter in it. Okay. Okay, I'll okay. take the oil right oh. there. Okay, just a dab of that. The reason I'm doing that, the component of what's going on top has the same type of marinade on it. So, okay, we bring that to the boil. And this is, sim this is similar to how you do your asparagus. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. But this, you're gonna bring it to a boil, and then you're gonna turn it down, and then you let it finish off, and that's how you get a perfect rice. You keep stirring okay. it, okay? okay? All right. We keep stirring, huh? Keep stirring, that's what that's <laughs> for, Dave. All right, I'll throw the rice in. Mix so how, it how do you know how much rice and how much water you put in here? You measure out the water first. Okay. And remember, two to one. So if you turn around and you fill up a container halfway, so that means you fill up the water just for once, okay? Okay, so, so two, two, to one. two parts water to one part. That's correct. Right. So you just keep and... Basmati is what you usually use in risotto. But when we take that, we let it reduce down, you do it with cream and cheese. There you go. You like that I like the, the combination. Cheese. I love the combination. Me when too. it's done, it's gonna look like this. Basmati, nicely cooked. Okay. And today we're gonna make it with asparagus, apples, and cabbage. And I'll keep stirring so, while we do this Then you keep too. stirring, okay? <laughs> well, okay. I'm gonna start with this here. You keep stirring over there, Dave. I will, I'm, I'm, All right. I'm, I'm gonna watch and stir. Right, there you, stir. you go. And while, I, while I, you I am gonna get in your way a little bit. It's all right, <laughs> while, you, while you're preparing that, I am going to start. We're gonna sweeten up the apples, the cabbage, and the asparagus, okay? So. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so. We have some gala apples here. I love the gala apple only because it's got a nice bounce of flavor. Is, is um, it a sweeter gala? Is that oh, sweet? yeah, it's, it's not as sweet as the delicious. It's kind of more mild and- It is, It, it, yeah. blend, it bl blends out with the, asparagus and honestly when you do with butter the cabbage it has its own sweetness so, so I use so red cabbage some chopped up asparagus that's mm -hmm. been blanched Aspa uh, apples yes and I see some cabbage in there this is red cabbage yes yeah and, okay. and part of it is for flavors also colors too it right colors and flavors textures okay. very important Right. Okay, looks well, great. Yeah, you're gonna give that a few minutes. You're gonna crank this up. While I'm still stirring. While you're still stirring, it takes a little <laughs> while, Dave. It's your pace. Uh, it's okay. We have our studio audience here at, at the <laughs> Springs too. Aren't I doing a good job? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so this, the butter is gonna bring all these things together. Just keep moving them around just a little bit. <clears throat> You don't want to overcook the apples where it's mush. You still want texture. And the same thing gotcha. with the asparagus. Just a little right? bit of crunch. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And it won't take long, will it? Nope. It's almost done, actually, Dave. You see that this asparagus I put in there from the raw state. Oh, okay. 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 You see how it's already that color that I blanched it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So a few more seconds. Yeah. You see that? Yep. Mm-hmm. 
few more Okay, seconds. we got this yeah. boiling. Do we need to turn it down? Watch it, Dave. Here we go. Here we go. Now you let it simmer. Okay? There you go. It's good. You kept stirring. Oh, okay. Okay. There you I'll go. keep stirring. You don't want it to stick, Dave. All right. <laughs> I got to awesome. keep stirring. There you go. So what I'm going to do here, your asparagus and apples right now are ready. They got a nice crunch to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this basmati that I have. Okay. Oh, so it's going to get all these flavors coming together. Oh, it's going to be great. There we go. What he's doing takes a little longer, the stirring part, you know what I mean? But it's, he's almost done. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's not going to absorb all this water, is it? It or will, yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now, how about salt and pepper? Would you put salt and pepper in I the do kitchen? not use okay. here at the Springs. Okay. If they want salt and pepper, they have it at the table. But gotcha. here, well, I put all the flavors in here. And once you try it, you're going to understand. It's, it tastes very good. The unsalted butter with the sweetness of the apples will make a flavor totally different. Okay. And here we go. Mm -hmm. All set. Anybody want to try a little bit? I'm going to put a little bit on the plate. Well, we'll, we'll put on three little plates. Yeah, we'll take it out there, there we go. But and I'll finish stirring. Don't worry about it, Dave. I got that. Okay? There we go. Well, well, we'll take this out to our ladies. Yes, exactly. Let them enjoy. I'll, I'll keep stirring while you... I'll, I got that right after you, Dave. There we go. You go to grab the plates. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you put the, there you go. I saved the best till last. <laughs> there you go. What do you think? Well, why don't you taste it? Well, why don't you tell me how it tastes. It tastes very good. Mild. Good. Mild but good? Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do I taste pineapple? There's no pineapple. That's the apple, I think, because it's a sweet apple. Yeah. So good. there you go. Well, there you go. So, Excellent. so, and this is what he serves with his Corvina uh, fish, which we're going to do next. So anyway, there you have it. Daniel is still cooking, stirring the rice over there. So yeah, it's all gone. Right? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for joining us for another session of culinary capers and come back again. And we're going to have Daniel show me how he cooks his Corvina fish. Bye for now. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun.